Okay, in this presentation we're going to follow on from something I did previously. So I had a look at the model R package and I fitted a very simple linear model with the iris data set. Uh, in this presentation what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the ante a bit, be a bit more ambitious. So I'm going to use the data set called diamonds which is in the ggplot library. And also what I'm going to do is fit a random forest model. Now the goal here is still just to calculate a couple of these things like RMSE, MAE, R squared, and a couple of other things. And for that, I will use the model R, uh, the model R package. So just a quick reminder about what the diamonds data set looks like. It's actually very big, and that's why it's like something of fifty three thousand, nearly fifty four thousand cases. It's very it's huge. And what I'm going to do actually is just use a small subset of that. So what I'm going to do here is going to use the dplyr package and what I'm going to do here is just use a couple of samples. Okay, so sample frac. Let's pick um, diamonds 10%. Uh, That's probably, a bit, yeah, 10%, not 0 0.10. Okay. And what we could do here is also just we use this as a testing data set or training data set and we'll make a couple more copies as a testing data set. Now this is a bit of a weird way of doing it, but I mean testing testing data sets and training data sets are not the main purpose here really, but you know, not a, a bad idea. So if you're not familiar with that, I suggest you just look up training data sets versus testing data sets. Now so let's look at diamonds. Uh, let's use glimpse. And again, this is from diamonds one. That is from the dplyr package, glimpse. So we have carrot, cut, color, clarity, and so on. Now, what I'm going to do here, just actually remark this is ordinal. That's a, let's actually look at that. Diamonds, uh, cut. Let's just get a quick summary of that. Let's not print out the whole thing. So essentially what that is, is a factor. Okay, ordered factor. Okay, that's what the ORD stands for. So we should be able to build a model. Now, I don't want to be, uh, make anything too strenuous. So what I will do here is I will try to predict price by a couple of other variables. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fit random forest model to the diamonds data, diamonds one data set, which is about 6,000 cases. And I'm going to try and predict price using everything else. And that's the random forest model. So I'm going to hit return on this. Now the thing is, this can actually take a while. So what I might do is just edit it down a bit and press pause and stuff like that. So we're back. Now that actually took longer than suggested in this video because I just edit it out a bit but we have the model there now let's just actually have a quick look at it dime rf and the variance seems to be 97.05 percent that's the key thing i'm looking at now there's a couple of other things related to random forest variable importance and so on but i'm not going to look at that here but what i am going to look at is um using the model r uh, functionalities rmse for dime rf you, and I have to specify the data. There we go. And okay, that's interesting. That's the RMSE value. MAE mean absolute error. Root mean standard error and mean absolute error. There's the quantiles there as well. Okay, and finally R square. That's not bad, 96%, okay, that's nearly 97%. So that's good. Now the thing is, what I can do here is just run that entire procedure again uh, for the Diamonds 2 dataset and the Diamonds 3 dataset. So let's actually, so this is like, could be considered a comparison between a testing dataset and a training dataset. All I have to do there is actually just change the name of the data. 94%, that's pretty good. Let's try it for the other testing dataset. Should be fairly close, yep. Uh, RMSE. Diamonds 2. Hopefully this will be close enough to 315.88. It's 
It's worse now. Okay. Lower is better. That well, they're sort of in comparison, pretty close in comparison to one another. Uh, let's finally try out the MAE for both. Just spare myself some typing. And just switch it to the other data, testing data set. Well, they're fairly close to each other. That's something, I suppose. Now, the idea is hopefully, hopefully, they'll be quite close to the testing data set, but that, that might be asking a lot. Okay. So that is using model metrics from the model R package. All of those commands that you see there on your screen right now. There's also the QAE one, which I won't repeat, but they are all from the model R package. And the key thing there was, the big job there really was actually just fitting the random forest model, which is just off, sh off screen now, but that was actually took about, about two minutes to do. It's a large data set, but it took about two minutes to do. It's quite complicated. So uh, that's it. We'll leave it there.